Welcome everyone to another Tuesday review. Today we're going to review In Existence Rebirth. This is a game that is actually a re-release of the developer's original game, and it's an improved version. There were some complaints on the original version. I never played the original, so I don't know what the problem was, but this is a re-release. This is a remake. So it's an improvement on what they did before in hopes of releasing a better game. So is this game actually better? Is it worth playing or is it one that we should ignore? And I'll get into that as we play the, play the game here. And here's my completion. I was level 23, beat the game, 100% map completion. So as you get into the game, as you, when you first start the game, you'll have the opening scene and this powerful sorcerer type guy he comes in. He's evil. He imprisoned your sister who supposedly keeps the balance between light and dark, good and evil on this island, and then he's able to become more powerful because nothing is going to stop his dark power and keep it in check. So now he's able to become super powerful and be harder to stop. And so we're on a quest to beat him in order to free our sister. Well, control-wise, first off, this game... Controls pretty well. There is a slight delay between like when you attack someone and being able to jump. So like in your, if you're in the middle of attack and you hit jump, you have to wait for the attack animation to finish before you can jump. So there is a slight delay. It's not a game breaking thing, but it might be annoying for some people. So it's something you just have to get used to in the game. Um, you do have a regular jump to start out with. Eventually, you unlock a double jump. You do also unlock a super jump, which is if you hit down and then up and jump at the same time. So down, up, and jump at the same time. And if you hold the button, you can go as high as you want, or you can let go, stop it early, however it works. You do have that ledge grab too, so he, you can grab onto a ledge if you can't quite jump onto an area. You can just jump, grab the ledge, and you'll be fine. You'll get on to the next area. Um, overall, not too bad as far as controls. If I had to make one complaint, the dodge mechanic starts out as only a backflip. I wish it was a forward roll, but it's a backflip. There is an upgrade if you go into the menu, because every time you gain levels, you get to upgrade your character, which is really cool for gameplay because you can design a character how you want it. You can design it however you want it to be. If you go over here to skills, you also get like so many skill points per level. I think it's, I think it's actually one per level. You can, you can actually find skill points throughout the game, which is really cool. kind of helps you unlock uh, more abilities. We have a ability called Role Master. And Rollmaster, what it does is it gives you a forward dodge. So if I purchase it, and if you are facing to the right and you hit the right button, you forward dodge. But if you hit the left button, you backflip. However, if you turn around and you hit the forward bu button, you know, hit the left button facing left, you roll forward. If you hit the right button facing left, you roll backwards. It's very complicated. It should be simple. It should be one button for forward, one button for reverse. But instead, you have to keep track of which way you're facing and hit the appropriate button in order to forward roll. Otherwise, if you hit the wrong button, you'll backflip. That's kind of annoying. Is it workable? Yes, but in the heat of a boss battle, you're going to get end up confusing the two and when you mean to forward roll you'll accidentally backflip into the enemy or when you mean to backflip you'll accidentally forward roll into them if you hit the wrong button so while workable it's a bit overly complicated in my opinion so I don't think it really works that well I think I'd rather have one button dedicated to forward and one button dedicated to roll to backflipping so it doesn't quite work out the way it's supposed to. 
Now, other than that, controls are pretty solid. Pretty decent. You do have an air mechanic when you're in water, so you have to get air before your air meter runs out, otherwise you will die instantly. And this happened to me once, where I forgot to breathe, forgot to get air, and I died. Uh, the look of this game looks really good. Not the best pixel art I've seen, but it's actually pretty darn good. Now, some enemies, the look tends to be either really good, or just really fall flat. Like, it just doesn't quite come across the way they intended. This guy's a little annoying here to fight, but... It's a lot of cool, like, references. Like, that's a Mickey Mouse reference right there. This guy right here, kind of like a, a ghost, a small Grim Reaper. He's actually... looks pretty good, these blocks. You hit blocks and coins come out. That's kind of a Mario reference right there. This is a Zelda reference in here too with the Pegasus boots. You get those uh, from the store. There's a Chozo suit as well. There's a reference to it being a good space outfit. Other than that, you know, it looks decent. Now, like I said, some enemies, if I go to the bestiary here, like I said, you got some enemies that look really good, look fairly decent. This dog is okay. It almost looks kind of like a deer, <laughs> like a really weird deer or a really weird dog. It, it, it doesn't really come across very well. The, uh, the artwork on that's okay. Um, there is this enemy right here that I came across is dead arrow. When I first saw it, I thought it was some kind of bluish alien. And it turns out it's actually, it's actually a skeleton. So, yeah. Doesn't quite come across the best. Or like those zombies, these walkers. They're supposed to be zombies, but they don't look the best. So that's something that it needs a bit more work, right? It's not quite there yet. Decent looking, but could use a little bit of work. Not terrible. Now, story-wise, the game just falls flat in its face, unfortunately. Has a good beginning story premise to it. Not a lot between that you get. It's pretty much your character against the big bad trying to beat him to free your sister but unfortunately when you get to the ending it leaves you wanting more it relies on an ending mechanic or type of ending that seems really overdone really kind of cliche and it doesn't really add anything to the story in fact it actually adds more confusion like what was the point of everything we just did what is going on? What is even happening here? Why did we do what we did? None of this is even answered in the ending. When all of this should become clear, right? The ending should solidify and clarify things. Instead, it leaves us with more questions and not in a satisfying way where we're like, oh, I want to see more of this. It's more questions like, why did I play this game? That was crazy. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So I don't know what they were thinking with the story, what they're actually kind of going for, but it makes no sense. It really doesn't. And for this short of a game, when you have a game that's not really long, you have to keep the story fairly simple. They went for a complex kind of story with a short game and it didn't work. It didn't work at all, and they really needed to go with a simpler story or a longer game with more in between to explain things, to hint at things, to where you, you get the ending and it all makes sense. This game fails to do that. So unfortunately, that's where the game really falls apart. Now, this could have replayability because you have collectibles, there's these puzzle pieces right here. I'm still missing one. There's 10 all together. So to see what happens when you get all those puzzle pieces. That's one thing you can have, you know, in this game that's good. The fact that you can build your character all the different ways. You can focus on strength, on defense, on magic. Focus on two of them. 
focus on only one of them. That makes it re replayability. The fact that you can play as the sister. Again, more replayability. But the problem is... The story, after getting to the story, I'm like, why? That makes no sense. And playing as the sister doesn't get you any more. Doesn't get you anything else. Story-wise, you're pretty much just left the same ending. It's just the novelty of playing as the sister. So this game could have had replayability. The story really makes you not want to even bother because it doesn't really do anything extra for you. So if you're looking for a game that's just kind of interesting, if you like want to support like a small indie developer, then maybe check this out. If you can find it on sale, find it for a really good price. I mean, it's not expensive now. I think it was like seven US dollars on Steam regular price. If I remember correctly, it might, it might be a bit more, but it's not very expensive on Steam right now, but if you can find it really cheap during like a Steam sale, maybe check it out out of a curiosity just to support a small developer who's trying. Otherwise, I would say don't bother. Don't buy this game. I can't very well recommend this game. If I had to rate it, it would be a six out of 10. And that'd be a, kind of generous, I guess. I don't mind a short game, but this game just doesn't hit that, that satisfying mark. The ending leaves a, kind of a bad taste in your mouth because you just, you go through all this work, you do all this for a game that has a decent amount of challenge to it. It's not a, a real easy game. There is a good amount of challenge to this game and to finishing it. And what you're left with is nothing satisfying. So it gives you no reason to really go through this again and go through the experience again. So overall, I'd say this would be a pass. Do not buy this game. Do not get it unless you want to support a small developer and you're looking for a short, curious game just to fill some time, just to see what the game is about. So that's what I have to say about this game. Wish I could say any, something better about this game, but unfortunately I can't. But thank you so much for watching. I do have other videos you can click on to check them out. More review videos, uh, playthrough videos. I also live stream on this channel. I try about once a week on Saturday mornings to do a live stream here. So if you want to check me out then, you can. I also live stream on Twitch. Link in the description down below. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. Also links in description down below. And I appreciate everyone for watching this, for all your support. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, stay awesome, and we will see you then.